massive outcry in East Gardena where residents and business owners call a growing RV encampment a health and environmental nightmare. Today, they met with local leaders to demand change. I would assume reporter Rob Hayes has, was there and has the details. If you thought more than 20 RVs packed onto a Silmar lot was bad, or the roughly 60 RVs lining Forest Lawn Drive, well, then you probably haven't been here lately. It's literally two straight blocks of RV garbage, RV garbage. These are the streets of East Gardena and West Rancho Dominguez, where more than 500 beat up, run down, and unsafe RVs have overrun block after block after block, says the Harbor Gateway Chamber of Commerce. Local residents and business owners have had enough. Today, more than 100 of them packed a warehouse to meet with local government and law enforcement officials. We're just trying to get the streets clean and safe. And this is more than just a nuisance problem. Lack of any kind of real sewage system means there are hundreds of people with no way to dispose of their human waste. And there is a lot of human waste, much of it ending up in the stormwater runoff drains, which pour right into our coasts, untreated. We have approximately 9,000 gallons a month of human waste flowing to the ocean out of these RVs. It's an environmental disaster and it needs to be cleaned up now. Making matters even worse, there are more than 100 children living in these RVs. The LA County Sheriff's Department says 27 RVs have already been removed over the past few weeks. But doing so is rife with obstacles. The tow companies that we were working with, one, didn't have room in their yard and weren't equipped to deal with the hazardous waste. The area affected sits in unincorporated L.A. County inside the district of Supervisor Holly Mitchell. She didn't show up for today's meeting, but one of her representatives says Mitchell's office is rolling out its new RV pilot program in whole later this month, but can't say how long it'll take to clear these streets. Supervisor Mitchell completely agrees with them that we need to be, the county needs to move faster. And she's been on for two years and we completely understand that the residents have lived with this for longer than the two years that she's been in office. But the people who live and work here say they needed this action months ago, that they're surrounded by filth and rising crime. Just last night, someone was shot and killed at the corner of Redondo Beach Boulevard in Maine. This is a community at its breaking point. We're business people. You can't make money when you're in the middle of this kind of a toilet. In East Gardena, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.